Got my tea, got my workspace. Let's get right to it. Okay, I want to start off by making a texture paint. Grab some green paint, grab some blue paint, grab some water. I want to pour into this other cup with sand. That's how we're going to start the textured paint. Then I'm going to add some Mod Podge to it. I'm using Mod Podge here because it's uh, it's pretty good for the job. Usually I want to thicken up the paint and also give it a hard coat on the miniature once it is dry. So Mod Podge is good for that. It makes it extra sturdy and tough. And then I'm going to add on it in some paint. And these paints have been sitting in my basement for a long time, so they're probably not mixed up and I haven't shaken them. And that's fine because we're going to mix up the paints once we pour them in the mixture. So open up the top of the paint, squirt some in there. Yep, that's pretty liquidy. It doesn't look any mixed up to me at all. Now we're going to do blue paint. This paint I'm going to have to unscrew because it is not coming out. There we go. Yeah, get some liquid and get a couple of chunks in there. Of unmixed up paint, but that's fine. So I'm going to take my brush and mix the paint up right now. There we go. Now it's going to take a lot of mixing to get this all mixed up uh, well and good. And uh, I'm trying to look at the brush to see if it's mixed up or not. It doesn't look like it's there yet. I just want to make sure it's uh, thick enough and I want to make sure that there is texture on the paintbrush. So I want to make sure there is sand on the paintbrush, which right now doesn't look too sandy to me. So I'm going to have to add more to this mixture. Yeah, it doesn't look quite right yet. So let's add some more paint, add some more blue paint. That's good, it's gonna thicken up a little bit. And mix it up. It's gonna make it bluer also. But it turns into a really neat color of uh, light bluish green paint. I like that color a lot. Let's see if I can get it to the right consistency and texture that I'm looking for. Almost there, not quite. I want it to be thicker, a little bit thicker, and I want it to be a little bit grittier. So, add some more Mod Podge. And I could have gone with white glue here, it would have saved some money, but I had the Mod Podge right there. So, mixing the Mod Podge, make it a little bit thicker, hopefully. That's my hope right here. Seems a little thicker, it's still, Still kind of more like a wash than it is a real good thick texture paint, but that's fine. It'll, it'll serve its purpose. I'm gonna add some more sand to the mix now, just to give it some more grit. It's not quite gritty enough. Let's mix that up good. I'm gonna want to look at the brush in a minute and see if there's any grit on the brush. It looks darker in the plastic container than it is, but I think that's good. So now let's move on to painting the boat. So I'm going to start with texture paint at the bottom of the boat. 
I'm gonna be painting this textured paint I just made onto the bottom third of the boat. So I want the very bottom uh, and the front to be covered in this uh, textured paint to kind of represent uh, barnacles and all sorts of things that would inhabit, inhabit the front of the hull and the bottom of the hull of a ship that's been out at sea for a very long time. And now I'm going to take some brown paint. I'm going to paint all the deck brown and I'm going to paint all of the wood parts brown. So this is just the first coat. I'm probably going to do several more coats of brown and I also need to then wash that. But that's in a future video. Right now I just got to paint the decking brown, getting both sides of the ship, both the front and the back of the ship. And I also want to get the sides of the ship. So I got to get that front piece, of course, the big piece of wood in the front. Getting both sides, trying to hit the decks, give them a good coat. And then we're going to do the side of the boat as well. Get both sides. Try to get all the wood on the boat brown. This is a close-up look. You can see how the texture paint has been applied and is now mostly dry. It looks pretty crusty, exactly how I wanted it. And you can also kind of see that brown paint above it. Time to do some touch-up and detail work. I'm going to start by taking that brown and applying it in all the places that I missed the first time around. So just adding extra brown here and there, and the columns between the uh, windows, a couple other details. I'm going to do some more detail work now, and I want to find some yellow paint. And I'm going to use yellow paint to paint some of the details. Near the front, there are these kind of arches that come down from the top of the hull. And I'm painting those yellow. And I'm painting the arches. I'm going to paint the arches yellow in the back. Continuing on the other side, painting the yellow. I'm using a yellow tube paint. Uh, because this paint is thicker and actually goes over dark colors better than most craft paint uh, or hobby paint that you tend to be thinner. I've got some brownish, orangish paint, and I'm going to take this paint and paint it over almost all of the metal pieces. I'm going to be doing some heavy dry brushing, some just kind of painting it over it. This is going to form the base layer for the color of the rusted metal that I want all of the metal to look like, or the majority of the metal to look like.
now I'm going over everything with silver. I've got to dry brush the silver over that uh, orangey brown that I just painted on the metal. So I'm going to use the texture paint over it again, and I'll probably go back over it with something later just to add more detail. Now I have to look for a red. I decided that the front underneath the yellow arches, uh, but above the wood planking, should be a red color. And I eventually find a red wine color that I think is going to work really nicely. there is some nice trim between the red and the top of the side of the ship and I decided to do that trim in a very uh, nice deep blue color. that needs to be painted. I'm going to take several different browns and paint that. And that is about it. I do a little bit of touch-up work and the boat is done for this video. Thanks for watching. Next time, I'll be doing some washes.